Hey guys, did you ever want a cheap enclosure for your solar IoT project? Well, here I took a cheap, easily accessible LED solar powered light and I added to it a particle photon development board. So let's head inside and take a look at what's inside the box. Now before we take a look inside the enclosure, I wanted to show you guys the kind of data that I've gathered using the particle photon board and I've been using ubi dots to collect and plot the data and over here we have the enclosure internal temperature and over here we have the battery voltage now as you can see you know th this data starts during march early march and ends in april but here we have nice data you know cold at night warm during the day very warm during the day because the enclosure is out in the sun and you know you see the temperature variation and then all of a sudden here the data gets really sparse so it looks like something has malfunctioned now if we look at our battery voltage over here you know you can see that the device has been charging nicely it charged up to 4.2 volts which is maximum for a lithium battery and when it peaks the peaks actually go up all the way to a little over 5 volts which isn't good you know I, I didn't expect the Chinese uh, little circuit board that's in there to provide very good charging but at least I was hoping that it wasn't going to peak like that and around the time that the device has malfunctioned you can see that you know it doesn't look like the battery was overcharged it looked it looked you know the the battery voltage plummeted so maybe what happened was you know the the Wi-Fi was down so the device drained all the charge in the battery trying to connect to the cloud and then completely drained the battery and now since the enclosure is living on my workbench you know it, just from the indoor lights it couldn't collect enough energy to reboot so now let's uh, go to the bench and crack open the enclosure alright so here we have the enclosure right here it's not waterproof uh, just water resistant and I did put piece of tape here and a piece of tape here to help keep the water out and I also have this other uh, solar light that was a candidate to become a an enclosure for a uh, for a little Internet of Things project but I decided to go with this one because it has a little more depth to it and it's all plastic so it shouldn't interfere with the antenna and here are the contents let's see what can I unplug in here battery power and so here is the particle photon. I have the antenna glued to the side of the enclosure. And over here inside the shrink tubing I have a little uh, voltage regulator. And on here I have a, uh, an IC to read the temperature. I think this guy came with the uh, with a particle photon development kit and this whole thing is just velcroed to the battery so I am kind of curious to see whether it still actually works so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put enough voltage on it so that it should run or put in four volts on the input 
to see if it actually turns on still. Maybe the voltage regulator died for some reason. And it looks like something shorted out because my current just went up to half an amp. So let's try it again. Yeah, it's one volt at half an amp. Surely something's fried. Now we're just going to figure out what it is. Alright, so I'm going to see if the photon board itself still actually runs so let's cut the the power here and the ground lead here and just go ahead and put 5 volts on VN Nope, it's something on the photon board that actually died. It's pretty interesting. I don't feel that anything's particularly warm. Maybe I can find what broke on this uh, PCB but in the meantime let's take a quick look at what what the uh, Chinese guys do for a charging circuit in their LED solar powered lights and I don't know if you can see it well you should see this they just have Here's their solar, uh, solar panel plus, and here's the battery plus, and this is their charging circuit, D1 diode. And I did look up this chip. It's actually supposed to be a uh, battery management chip, but you know, I, I tried tracing out the circuit. I don't see if it's actually doing anything useful and let's see what kind of a circuit we have on here and here's the board here we have solar in and once again we have a diode right here and yep that goes this trace goes along the edge of the board and goes straight to battery plus so nothing fancy here in terms of charging the battery now they these uh, these uh, solar panels right here they are if you look them up they are rated for just four volts so they are hoping that you know you you never get too much Sun and and uh, you're not gonna accidentally fry your battery when you know when this thing outputs over uh, 4.2 volts so that's that I'll uh, go see if I can find whatever is wrong on this board now all right so I didn't want to just end the video on that and I kept the power on for a little bit on on the 3.3 uh, volt input on the particle photon board and the main package after a while did get warm so I attached the thermocouple here and if we take a step back you can see I have my DAC over here to the right and a power supply so let's turn that on have it limited to one amp right now but let's 
crank it up a little. 1.5, enter. There we go, one and a half amps. And we can see that the temperature is rising pretty fast. And the board has been working okay for a full month. And then all of a sudden, one day, it just decided to quit. So, yeah, this thing's going back to the particle team. Maybe they can let me know what went wrong.